Hello and welcome to a Famicast stream of Splatoon 2 Splatfest. This is James. I'm here with Cyrus. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Cyrus. That's right. We played some Splatoon 2 Splatfest. It was, uh, what was it? Egg versus chickens? Yes. <laughs> Correct order. What came, <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg, basically? Well, according to your description, eggs. So by default, so, we win. There you go. So we've got me, Lucas, a patron, uh, MBZ, and Cyrus, and we set up a, uh, a squad. And uh, what have we got here? I guess we're all European, I guess. Yeah. MBZ's British. Lucas is British. Yeah, both of them actually in Britain as opposed to us <laughs> in Japan. And yeah, we, uh, we got in the squad pretty much no problem against the team, the opposing team, the chicken team. Who wrongly assume that chickens came first? Yes. Well, um, I did too first, to be honest. <laughs> right? Yeah, it Do took some convincing. A very yeah. brief, like, sentence of like, "Oh yeah, you're right," and then we switched to uh, to egg. Right. So the uh, friend of the show, um, Zach Miller, who's a Nintendo World Report staffer, is a paleontologist, and he explained to me. Well, he tried to explain it in a simple way, but it come, came out as <laughs> pretty much incomprehensible to me. So what was it? Yeah. The, uh, the it chicken... Was like, it was like the... a very close to, but not quite a chicken, laid an egg. And that egg hatched into a chicken. Right. Yes, the 99.9999% chicken <laughs> animal gave birth to the first 100% chicken egg. And then from then on, it was... Uh, 100% chickens. So we, we so. already proved the winner of this bat fest through science. There you go. But, it, it, but you know, the way the question is, it's like, what do you think came first? You know, <laughs> it's like, it's not what scientifically yeah. came first, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and, but that, that's what I think all these splat fests should be. Like, which do you think is better? This is a really oh, yeah. good question. Yeah, yeah, because... yeah. The scientific, you know, questions that require scientific research. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't be done. <laughs> yeah, they, they require the input of a like a qualified paleontologist to uh, get the correct answer for. Which Those country's are what... bigger, China or Russia? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you could probably find that out with a quick Wikipedia, or you might already know. Cats versus dogs, the classic. Yeah, that's um, uh, scientifically dogs. Uh, but that's <laughs> fun. That's for another day. Right. They should bring that one back. They haven't done that one for Splatoon 2 yet, have they? Probably have they? because it's so obvious. Um, so in case you hadn't worked it out, uh, uh, Cyrus is at the top, and uh, me, I'm at the bottom. James at the bottom, Cyrus at the top, and that'll be the same for the whole stream. And Cyrus, what weapon are you rocking? Yeah, I'm uh, very briefly, during this setup, I was using the, the heavy splat link, which is my usual go-to. Right. But if any of you have been paying attention to my half of the stream, my accuracy is like zero during the stream. Right. Because I'm I'm all I'm moving out of Japan at the moment. I've got a very awkward streaming setup. Right. Yeah. So We're both my, playing uh, off uh, computer monitors, by the way. So uh, please understand. Yeah. So playing off the computer monitor while streaming with a handheld switch introduces <laughs> some lag. So. Uh, right. We can't complain too much. No, we don't. We don't want to end up on uh, scrub quotes or anything. Yeah. Not um, my fault. <laughs> whatever. I don't even like this game. Um, so, oh man, we got destroyed on this one, didn't we? Yeah, you'll be seeing the the bad guys winning uh, yeah, very occasionally. We, spoiler. Um, yeah, we didn't do too good on this one, <laughs> but at least we're on the same team. Yeah, yeah this is a very. Um, a co-op friendly, co cooperative friendly stream. This one, we're on, we're on the same team for every single game, um, for this one. And the whole thing is the Splatfest, unlike the previous one, where we had to go back to like regular turf war because we ran out of time. Yeah, and it took. We couldn't find games. It was like we right. kept getting kicked back into the lobbies. With this, this was a really nice quick turnover. We kept getting more and more matches. Yeah, there it we go. Refreshing. Yeah, and I'm I'm on my uh, for, for this part of the stream anyway. I'm on my uh, Famicom Zapper. Um, Ooh, an upgrade I, from the last stream. Yeah, I was using my NES one last time, um, so I'm quite unfamiliar with the the specials and the uh, the, the sub weapon. 
which uh, I've already forgotten what it is. Oh, I, I think this is the um, the ink. Uh, what do you call it? The the Tenta missiles. Oh yeah, yeah. And the robot the bomb. Weapon. But yeah, you'll find out later. We we both change weapons because of the uh, crazy shifty station, which uh, you'll see soon. And you can see that uh, both of us are rocking our special Octoling headphones. Ooh, oh, yeah. well, uh, not yet. I'm not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point we... Oh, wait, you're not. You're still scrub. Okay, it was one of my cooler <laughs> teammates I was looking at there. Well, that's, that's a nice transition, Cyrus. So, um, what happened... Uh, well, this is uh, after recording Famicast 121, which hopefully you guys uh, have all listened to by now. But during that recording, the uh, Nintendo Direct happened. And there was a lot of Splatoon 2 news. Yeah, it was uh, kind of like out of left field. They they first announced a big like 3.0 update to the game. So it's coming with 100 new items, new maps, new weapons, the usual. But yeah, they yeah. also announced uh, the first paid DLC for Splatoon. The, 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 the regular 3.0 update did have some cool new stages, didn't it? There was, a, what was oh man, what was the, one of those new stages? Um, uh, man, I've already blanked on what the new one is, but uh, it's coming coming soon to everyone. That one. Yeah, I really like the way they did this update, where it's like 3.0 is a free update. You get all the clothes, all the stages, and Callie will make an appearance. So everyone gets those things. But then it was just the like the story DLC, which was behind the paywall. What was the Callie thing? They said, so there's been huge complaints that Callie is not in this game at all. She's like <laughs> a main character of the first game and she just completely disappears for this one. So she's just going to show up and just sit somewhere? Yeah, they said if, if you meet certain conditions, she'll show up in like the waiting lobby in the story mode and you can talk to her and she gives you random tips or conversation stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't really get that from the direct. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's like if you complete the story mode. There is story reason she doesn't show up, right. but right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah don't, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in a bit. Yeah. So uh, just looking up the, uh, the the levels, it's the Camp Triggerfish from Splatoon 1 and Piranha Pit. I hate that stage. I, I really like that one, Piranha Pit as well. And there's a brand new one called Wahoo World, which is like a kind of theme park kind of oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's new, like, Piranha Pit, do you remember that one? It's got the conveyor belts on. It's got like a, it's kind of oh, like a yeah. scout camp, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I kind of dropped off um, Splatoon 1 by the end of its cycle, but I remember I went in for one Splatfest, and I was like, what is this conveyor belt stage? Yeah. So yeah, I remember that one. That, that was, a, yeah, that, you're right, that was a very late addition to Splatoon 1, wasn't it? The Piranha Pit. Yeah, all the ones that had, like, stage gimmicks like that with, uh, with like changing stages or conveyor belts or sponges they were all real late game ah. oh you got the bowler yeah so this this one I swapped to the slosher because Bye. I wanted something I didn't really have to aim very much so, uh, <laughs> so that yeah. came with the bowler special and it almost paid off so yeah those now, in Splatoon 2, we've had a, a bouldering stage, like a, one of those kind of indoor climbing frames, and we've had a uh, like a BMX one, uh, all these kind of like indoor extreme sports kind of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is what, you know, is popular in Japan. And we've had, uh, you know, like a Hawaii-style stage. And uh, now we've got Wahoo World, which is like Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. I hadn't realized, like, I knew they were all hip and trendy stages, but I hadn't really noticed it was so clearly that, that it was like, yeah, these are just things that are popular with Japanese kids. And you've got Weno uh, um, Dinosaur Museum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go to Weno Park, you can go there. Highly recommended by Cyrus, by the way. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, time. this is where you equip your studio octophones. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Did you pre-order immediately? Yes, as soon as I got home, I locked in that pre-order. It was like you know the GIF, you know, take my money, shut up and take my money GIF uh, yeah. for me. Yeah. So what what happens? Like a little box just appears in your uh, plaza, doesn't it? Yeah, that was a really cute little touch. The mysterious package that you just open that's sitting in the middle of your lobby. Breath of the Wild style. <laughs> yeah, and. <laughs> Like I, I've been, I've been wanting to play as Octolings since as soon as I encountered my first Octoling in uh, in Splatoon One Story Mode or Hero Mode, 
Right. So, as soon as it was like, yeah, buy this DLC, you can play as Octolings, I was just like, okay, I don't care what else you're going to tell me. I'm doing. Um, so that's something you have to earn in the uh, the, uh, the story mode thing, I guess. We'll yeah, talk about that I'm... in a minute. But this, all the, yeah, so we're on the shifty station now. This is, uh, well, it's not randomly generated. It, this was specifically generated yeah, <laughs> for this uh, like, Splatfest. Yeah, they're just like unique maps that are only available during uh, Splatfest. Yeah. During Splatfest. But a lot of them are randomly generated, I, I believe. Yeah, they have like some specific things, like right. uh, like the platforms might be a little randomized in each one, but this one was not. This was like very particular. Yeah, and uh, this was actually data mined and completely, you know, there were like YouTube videos of like everything about this stage before the Splatfest. And I was a bit confused actually going into the the Splatfest. I was like, wait, has the Splatfest already started? Why are there all these YouTube videos of the new Shifty Station? I was like, oh, right, yeah, data miners. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. For um, those who didn't actually play this map, the the gimmick is like there's there's these sections of the map that periodically you'll there see it is. like. Commencing yeah. stage one, it said. No. Yeah, yeah so that comes down. Oh, you can see it now. So, and, yeah, uh, it'll lock off parts of the map. And if, if you happen to be in there when it locks, then you can claim all that ink and no one can ever get back in there to claim it. Right. So. And at this Forces point in the game. stream, we hadn't quite worked that out, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. please bear with us. Um, we do get better uh, for various reasons. So I, I think at this point, Cyrus, we're realizing that our weapons are not doing very well on this stage. Because yes, it's very... freaking huge! Yeah, Jesus. this is definitely one of the biggest maps I've ever played in Splatoon. Like, Yeah, the, what's the one with the, from Splatoon 1, like with the spinning parts to it? Is it like a... Oh, the art museum yeah, one. The or art the... museum one. That is pretty huge. But this is possibly bigger. I'm yeah. Not sure. Another one that was pretty huge is like the oil rig. But the oil rig has mm. like has a lot of empty space that you can't stand in. This is just solid, paintable ground everywhere. Right. There's like there's no ledges or obstacles. It's just ground. And I was I was assuming that they stayed away from these kind of things because of um, lag or slowdown. Oh, yeah, you, you would so expect that, right? Like, yeah. yeah, eight people paints, you know, going everywhere, which happens in real time, and it's like you can see the whole stage, all that happening at once, online on a wireless system, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I, I didn't notice any lag or any visual lag or online lag, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um... Also, which was remarkable about this Batfest that I, I forgot to mention, is the, the ink colors. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we were painting yolk, I guess, from the egg. Yeah, the yellow. We were painting feathers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because immediately when I look at an egg, I'm like, it's twice. It's the egg color, but I guess... Yeah, yeah but then what's chickens going to get? Yeah, like if you imagine a chicken from, from Zelda, they're just a white bird. So yeah, white makes sense, but... Um, definitely white versus, yellow and yeah, egg white versus normal white wouldn't really work though. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, Cyrus, what are you doing? What am I doing? Cyrus is wandering around. Uh, are you going to change your weapon? I guess. Oh yeah, this was. Uh, oh no, you had to buy a weapon. I had to buy a weapon. I needed a roller because I'm just like I can't play with this these weapons I have, and <laughs> I've very few weapons like actually equipped. So uh, I went off. Met Sheldon, bought the first random roller I could find, and uh, went to town. Carbon roller, okay. Ink storm and auto bomb. Yeah. Ooh, bargain. Six thousand two hundred squids. Yeah, I'd never actually like. I clearly I'd never bought a roller in this. I never really <laughs> liked them in Splatoon one, so I never bought one. But uh, OP. <laughs> yeah, way too overpowered. I like to play my games with like fairness and honor and challenge and stuff. Well, Ty to this day still thinks everyone uses rollers and uh, everyone sucks or something. I don't know. Oh, we're waiting for uh, Cyrus to come back. This is the best part where everyone's waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> but there you can see the three stages, Snapper Canal, Murray Towers, and Shifty Station. We haven't, we haven't gone on Snapper Canal yet. Yeah, that came up very rarely in our entire playtime, I think. But you can oh, see you know, the... Yeah. Go. Have you noticed that there's all three of you, except me, are fangirls? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, that we all picked the uh, better-looking Inklings. Right. You can actually change it any time, can't you? 
Yeah, it's like it's really cool. It's, I'm, I love that they explained it. It's like ink, like a uh, ink. Uh, real squids in real life can uh, can change color and shape at will, so they allow you to do it in this game. Okay, I didn't hear that bit, but uh, take their word for it. So I'm and still this... stupid and still using uh, my uh, ends up. Yeah. And but I got my headphones, <laughs> which I don't even know what it does. Don't know what the power is. I never know what mine are. I just equip random ones and unlock new abilities. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I, I wear like equipment in this game exclusively based on what it looks like. Have you uh, never... Have you noticed that in Splatoon 2 they took out the attack up um, like perk? Like, oh, you know, I didn't know that, that got one. I know they rejig a lot of these things, but I never... Because in Splatoon noticed. 1 I had all three of my clothes and shoes were attack up, mm -hmm. so I would just kill people in one shot. <laughs> well, I guess that's why they took it out. Um, yeah, yeah, and I mean, I, w I didn't go as far as some of the psychopaths do and have every single chunk as also attack up, because I, I don't even know how to do that, because it's all random, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think those, like, they have to keep resetting their weapons on uh, using shells from... Yeah, the yeah but how does that work? Things. It's like a 1 in 32 chance that you get the one that you want. And then times that by 3 on every single bit of equipment. I just don't understand yeah, how I'm, it works. I'm just watching my own feed here and you can like see immediately there has been a massive change in how well I'm doing. It's yeah, like, yeah. Like well, I'm you covering mean, huge amounts of ground and <laughs> killing like, I think I've killed 5 people so far in this match. Nice. Oh yeah, this guy. This guy knew how to use a roller. He was like... And being on Team Chicken, he like immediately instigated a game of chicken with me, where we were both running at each other. <laughs> the last nice. second, he peeled away and came around behind me. Nice. It's like, ah, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. Damn it. <laughs> How dare he. Oh man, that's been locked down. Killed his ass. Yeah, the sides have already gone down. Oh, there's the middle, and... It's all white. <laughs> I think I did get inside one of them a couple of times. And it feels so good. Yeah, you're like, uh -huh, can't kill me. Well, that guy just killed me, but you know, bad timing to say, haha, you can't kill me when dying. So yeah, a lot of yeah. buckets, I guess. Buckets and rollers. I think people were starting to realize, so right now we're about like 10, 20 minutes, or about 20, 30 minutes into this Splatfest. Oh yeah, people yeah. We're we starting should... to realize. Yeah, yeah. Unlike uh, unlike the last Splatfest, we should mention that we started bang on time. It was 11 p.m. start in Japan, and we started at 11 p.m. Uh, well, you know, give or take a few minutes, you know, dicking around, getting everyone online and everything. Yeah, but I think all of us Ouch. were... Ouch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that yes. hurts. Yeah, there was a lot of sixty percent losses on this one. It was gut wrenching sometimes. And I guess while it felt like I did a lot better that time, my, I was still <laughs> bottom of the team. We lost by a huge margin. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, what does it have? Ink, ink up. I guess the headphones. I think it. I think that was ink. I don't know. There's a there's a couple of ink up ones. I don't know what it is. And uh, yeah. oh, MBZ's using the that high fire, high rapid fire one. Oh, the, the splushomatic or something. Or... Right, and Lucas is just using the regular <laughs> splatter shot, I think. I think what was MBZ? MBZ said he was uh, he joined us from like a construction site. He was playing portable ones. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's why he couldn't be on the uh, the mic with us. Yeah, that was a uh, good job. Like that. That is a man dedicated to his splatfest. Right. Uh, this is me changing to a roller upon Cyrus's uh, recommendation. Probably took me three games to realize that he was right. <laughs> right, so at least we've got two rollers. Well, it's, it's, it's probably best not to have all four of us on rollers, right? No, definitely. You need a few guys with the range to keep them off. And right. I think every team kind of had that balance by the end. It was like two rollers to, a, to two other weapons. Oh dear, what happened here? Are we... I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, what happened? 
Oh, we, uh... So this is uh, <laughs> Cyrus on his own, I guess. I think we, uh... I think there was a point here where we gave up. Um, oh, yeah, we, we couldn't find games. Yeah, we there was... To... A, we, we, we've edited this video um, to, to cut out the 25 minutes of monotonous uh, can't find games. <laughs> can't find games. Yeah. It started off really well, but I think as we started to level up into... Uh, from fangirls into fiends and defenders and whatever, it's the matchmaking algorithm started having more and more trouble matching this up. Right. So this is me. Uh, the, sorry, this is me at the bottom, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Cyrus, you're still at the top, still waiting for players, <laughs> staying yep. away from matches. So yeah, I think we said goodbye to MBZ and Lucas at this point. We said, you know, sorry guys, looks like it's not going to work out tonight. Um, thanks for coming. Um, me and Cyrus will just try and get games together randomly, maybe? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> with some degree of success. What? The, the roller that you were using, what weapon setup did it have, like specials and... I should have just checked that. We were just on there. Yeah. I haven't used my sub yet. But I think um, you stuck with this for most of your... Yeah, that, I, I think I'm pretty much this from now on out yeah. for the rest of the stream. I know I started with the carbon roller and then like tried to swap out to it later when I had a chance. To, uh, to a okay. different roller. I didn't like how, how low damage the, the carbon roller is, even though it's hella fast. Yeah, this one that I'm using, I could squash people with it, which is all I want, really. Uh, Unfortunately, you don't have time to check uh, to test weapons on the <laughs> when you're in the middle of a splat fest. Yeah. So uh, it's just kind of like look at the draw, I guess. Try my flicks. Yeah, I don't usually use um, rollers, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, I get better as we go through. Yeah, this was yeah. actually a really great learning experience, and I think that's one of the best things this uh, this splat fest has done. Like, it really forced me to, like, okay, my weapons are garbage. I'll try out of my comfort zone. There you go. I think you can see on James's feed on the bottom that he got into the, the containment area. And he's, like, having a one-on-one -on -one battle with the Yeah, guy. this is scary when you're trapped in with... Oh, I got him. Yeah, it's scary when you're trapped in a, uh, in a zone with someone else. Yeah, it was pretty nice, though. You, like, you hopped over the wall, jumped down on him, and caught him unawares. That's right. Now I can paint the whole center yellow in your face. So your what, um, to avoid some confusion here, you're actually looking at two separate games here. Uh, this is me at the bottom <laughs> playing with three randoms and Cyrus at, on the top playing with yeah. three randoms. Because Splatoon in its infinite wisdom only lets you search for games if you have exactly four people in your group. Right. Unfortunately, they don't do pair Splatfest. Solo or team, that's it. Uh, and I lost. <laughs> I think, uh, well, no. Yeah, well, anyway. Got two points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just watching my own screen there. I thought I was great. I went way into enemy territory. I'm like, no one's up here. I've all to myself. And then, like, immediately got surrounded and killed by like, their entire team. Oh, nice. Your middle looks very yellow. Yeah, I think we did pretty... This is like our points started to separate by the... Durings. Yeah, there was a point where you had a much higher... Uh, what do you call it? Power rating? Like, yeah, like Splatoon... Oh, like Splatfest particularly power rating. Right. Nice. Yeah, I think you, your team's got this one. And there's me struggling to join people and I can't. Yeah, we were trying to like join each other and just like, yeah. nope, not happening. I don't understand that. It says join friends in battle and it's like... You're in battle, you're playing, you're on my friends list, and it doesn't even say joinable, I just don't get it. You can see Lucas and MBZ are obviously playing in their own games. There's Danny, grayed out like an idiot, because <laughs> <laughs> he's got the Japanese version. Oh yeah, this Splatfest was UK and America plus Australia only, so... That's right. Um, Japan was the Sakura... Uh, what was it? Eat? Eating while watching Sakura or looking at Sakura? Yeah. It was like mo mochi or flower, I think. Was it mochi or flower or something and flower? Basically, do you like just enjoying looking at the Sakura, the cherry blossom, 
in, during the picnic, or do you just like to chow down? Mm -hmm. Which I think is pretty obvious. Isn't eating better? What would what would you have chosen in that one? Yeah, I'd totally be eating. Like I like looking yeah. at Sakura and stuff, but I'd get bored to tears just sitting and looking. <laughs> right. Okay, so Cyrus is. So this oh, was Cyrus another one. Ah, oh, yeah. I guess you went in too quickly, and I didn't have time to. Join well, I, I think we were trying to see if I joined, would you be able to join me while I was searching? No, and I couldn't. Yeah, this is like yeah. a learning process that we do. I think in the last 10 minutes of this stream, we nail it, don't we? We, uh, <laughs> we, we start uh, to get like synchronized with each other. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately, we're going to be in uh, separate battles again. Um. But yeah, I really like the uh, this 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 new stage. It's a shame that it was only for the Splatfest. I think it'd make a good regular stage. Yeah, I I imagine towards the end of Splatoon 2's life cycle, when they run out of Splatfests, they'll start adding the the Splatfest only stages into regular circulation. Yeah, you could be right. That's like a fun like, um, big update. Me and uh, me and Ty just did a this month uh, March 2018. Uh, me and Ty did a a uh, patron podcast called ACDC Armchair Designers Club and we talked about F0 and F0 X has this amazing um cup which has randomly generated levels. Oh yeah, that had the level designer mode, didn't it? Yeah, well for the 64 DD it did. Yeah. But like that would be a brilliant thing addition for this. Like just have um Shifty Station as one of the selectable ones and it's like you just get a random one every single time. Mm. And you know no no everyone's going to be on their toes, aren't they? So Cyrus, you're the first one to do the snapper canal. Oh yeah. So, uh, and you can see that now the ink is like green and purple because yeah. I'm paired up against another egg team. So right, exactly. When you're on the same team, you get random regular colors, mm. as opposed to the special, lovely, <laughs> yolk and chicken feathers <laughs> color. Oh yeah, your favorite. Oh, you're not. You don't have your favorite color. You got it. I know I'm I'm like betraying myself. You're on the here. wrong team. <laughs> so there's me and a bunch of possibly Korean or Chinese people. <laughs> and it got me wondering, is Splitting 2 localized in China? In Chinese and Korean? Because a lot of first party games are nowadays, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not totally. sure about Splatoon 2 though. Um, yeah. Because Splatoon 2 is one of the few, re well, lang well, one of the yeah. growing lock. in number of language locked games. Yeah, Kirby turned out not to be, by the way. Do you know that? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they, it turned out to be a clerical error on the eShop. The Japanese eShop incorrectly said it as uh, Japanese only. And then it came out and they went, oh, no, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, no, it's in all the languages. We forgot. Sorry we, we made that mode. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That, oh, so that answers your question, Cyrus. Um, I've got the uh, the splash down as my special. Oh, okay, yeah. And I, I realize to... that Splatoon Two would not be localized to, to Chinese because uh, there's no online e like play in in China. Oh. For, like if you're using the Switch, you can't play online. <laughs> so Splatoon Two might be a little empty if it's missing the online component. How do you download stuff again? You, you told me this before. Yeah, you have to. So it was just recently added. You can access the eShop, but you can't. Um, you can't buy any games from the eShop. You have to go to Nintendo.com, buy a, like a code for a downloadable game, mm -hmm. like an eShop code, <laughs> then right. redeem it on the eShop, and you can download it to your system. So it's the same thing. They've got the redeem button, but they. You yeah, have you to just, use that. <laughs> yeah, you just can't buy stuff directly from the store and they've got no online play. I've just noticed on my I'm this is me at the bottom here, the I'm way into enemy territory and no one is here. <laughs> I think we've nailed this one. Looks like yeah. this team's gone. Yeah, I'm curious for you to bring up your map again and see what happened. Maybe they're all just fighting over a, a center or somewhere. Yeah, where are they? No, they're over there having a big battle. You can see them like way in the distance. I hate that. One thing I didn't like about this stage is that they don't want you to be crushed by the by the dome coming down. Oh, do they push you away? 
Yeah, it's not that they push you away, but there's an invisible box around the bottom of the dome. So you oh, you can't man. swim in at the last second. It just like Oh, you can't off. do that. Ah, oh, that's the same. A nice little Indiana Jones moment, isn't it? Yeah, like I, I kept trying like, oh shit, it's about to close. And I'd like dart up and put, I wouldn't be able to go in under it as it's closing. So basically, as soon as that text comes up, that's it. You can't go in. Uh, well, you do have a chance to run at it, but it's there's no like last second <laughs> dodging underneath. How did I just squash that guy? Oh my just, goodness. <laughs> he just evaporated under your... Thing. That's yeah. Cyrus, in, Cyrus in the top right corner of the video, by the way. Oh my goodness, yeah, we nailed those guys. But a boosh. So the, for good or bad, there was a lot of sixty to whatever in this Splatfest, wasn't there? We either yes. won or lost to sixty. <laughs> I mean, if if one team controls even one of the 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 containment areas, then yeah. that's that's a good like ten percent of the map. So it would stack the map a lot in one favor. Right, right, right. Hmm. So have, at this point, maybe we've worked out that it's better. Nope, we haven't worked that out yet. Okay. <laughs> 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 Never mind. <laughs> Please stand by. Um, so yeah, back to the, um, the uh, Nintendo Direct. So we covered the new stages and the new items, which me and Cyrus both downloaded the DLC. We got those new items, but there's going to be like a hundred new items as well. Yeah, just a hundred regular clothes in 3.0 mm. update. Already feels like there's too much to buy. Like I'll be buying stuff until I die. Oh yeah, like I even had that in Splatoon One. There was no way I was ever going to get all the equipment, and it had right. like half the equipment. Splatoon already has. Splatoon Two already has. Right. Uh, we're watching mine stream because I, I guess Cyrus is having trouble getting into games. <laughs> yeah. But Cyrus will pop in uh, in a minute. Um, so yeah, the, the 3.0 update is the, the paid DLC is going to have Octo Expansion, which is like a whole single player, new single player campaign. What, what do you think about the reveal uh, trailer for that? The reveal trailer was fantastic. Like, it starts off, it's all dark and moody. I'm like, oh, what's yeah. this? And immediately Double shows up. And I'm like, oh yes, we're in. We got Octoling playable. <laughs> but the way they built it up, where they they kept showing more and more content. They like showed this new train, had all these new characters. It was like new versions of Marie and Ka well, not Marie and Callie, of uh, of Pearl and Marina. Pearl and Marina, yeah. And uh, and then they started showing all these single player stages, and I was like, wow, this is this is a ton of content. Um, <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, and then they, be free, and it wasn't. Yeah, and <laughs> then they revealed, oh, this is twenty dollars. I'm like, okay, you actually, that's kind of fair enough. You were you were scaring me with how much you were offering with this trailer. Right. It's like, do you not like money? Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo, you, you do have that with Nintendo a lot, don't you? It's like, man, most companies would charge you a little bit, you know, five dollars a piece for all of this, but you're just mm -hmm. giving it away all for free, but. So you, you, you don't feel bad. You don't feel um, bad for spending the money when it comes to the point like now with the $20 yeah. DLC. You don't feel like, oh, you've been ripped off. You think, well, yeah, I've got literally shit tons of free stuff. You yeah, don't especially like, I play a lot of fighting games and uh, fighting games are not exactly friendly with their DLC <laughs> practices. So. Three, four dollars a character. Yeah. Oh, you want to use stages? Oh, you should. Uh, you should. You should have thought about that before you you bought these costumes. <laughs> right. Well, you you did get that with Smash. I didn't really appreciate the amount of DLC they had for Smash. It yeah, got a little the, bit, little bit too much towards the end. Definitely, um, especially since it was split across two systems. That were and uh, that's why I, I specifically only bought uh, uh, Bayonetta and Gu because uh, they were the only genuinely new ones. Oh, yeah. All the rest were just, you know, like clones or, um, you know, people coming back from older Smashes or whatever. Um, but anyway, this expansion, the Octo expansion, um, it actually kind of inspired me since this uh, Splatoon, since the Direct and since uh, the Splatfest, you know, having Splatoon 2 back in the rotation, I went back to the single player of Splatoon 2, um, which I kind of gave up on, maybe around about World. Two, oh, you never finished it. 
No, no, no. I, yeah, like, I mean, we talked about this on um, our Splatoon podcast, uh, Super Splat Hour, uh, how the levels just felt too long. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Cyrus got put in the cage and then died. Never mind. Yeah, I put in the cage. I killed two <laughs> people, but I had already claimed most of the ink in there, so I'm like, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, I guess it was, like, because you said you did everything. Like, you collected every single collectible? Um, split into a single player? Yeah, because uh, I refused to go through any, like, go to the next level until I had the collectible from the oh, level I was on. That sounds painful, because I'm, I'm just mainlining it, and even then it's really dragging out um yeah but... i when, when i played splatoon one like i i loved that single player i went through it really quick <laughs> i was like looking forward to every level it was snappy it was cool one of the best final bosses one of my favorite final bosses in any game and uh yeah awesome. and then splatoon 2 wow. was just nice yeah that's i think that one we got all of the we got our containment zone we got the middle containment zone <laughs> and they uh... didn't take don't get too excited, Cyrus. You absolutely nailed the same team. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, um, um, so but was, yeah, with Splatoon 2, like, um, yeah, I feel exactly the same about Splatoon 1. Like, they were, they were snappy, they were, you know, it was like one idea, quickly done, and you're on to the next one. But with Splatoon 2, it was like, they combined maybe three, sometimes four, four or more splatoon one length into one stage it's just like they're too long like i've I recently got back into it because i want to finish it before the octo expansion so uh since this i've, I've started getting back into it and, and it is it is good and they do have some cool ideas and puzzles and uh there's a lot more kind of like super mario galaxy style you know jumping puzzles and finding hidden things and it is cool but like man this stage that i just completed it just wouldn't end. I was like, Jesus, like I thought, like literally, seriously, sincerely, I thought I'd got to the end maybe three times and it just kept on going. <laughs> it was just like, um, but I think, I don't know if this was this is true with Splatoon 1, but they give you an extra life uh, every, every checkpoint. Yeah. So you can die um, twice on every part. As long as you don't die three times on one section, you're good. But I don't think Splatoon 1 did that because I, they just weren't long enough to do that, were they? Yeah, like you just happily restart. And I did happily, anytime I died, it was like, okay, cool, let's do that again. But with Splatoon 2, there were a few sections where I kept dying with stupid insta deaths where you just fall off the stage. Yeah. And uh, particularly getting some of the collectibles in some of the later parts was like grinding. And it, it made me hate it even more. Man, good luck to you. I don't know how you did it. Well, what amazes me is that you have to, um, whenever you finish a, with Splatoon 1, you only used the main weapon. And actually, after, like if you oh, got yeah, the Amiibo, one. you could go back into every level and play them with a new weapon set up. And, yeah, but there were um, only three, right? There's, there's, there was the Kraken, and then there was the The, the Kraken, roller? the Roller, and the Sniper. Was it the Sniper rifle? Yeah, because it was really weird and awkward. <laughs> and, and I finished the Splatoon story, the hero mode, with all three weapon variations. I like. Nice. Oh, so you got all three amiibos. Yeah, so I went back through and did it with all three of them. Nice. And... I, I have all three amiibos, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I've done some of it. I think I did it up to the point where you get the cool gear. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, or the the mini game unlocks. Thing. I just I just looked up which one do I need to be to get the mini games. Okay, that one. I'll yeah. do that. <laughs> I miss those. They were so good. Um, but then in in Splatoon 2, they change it up so that you get uh, you get like different weapons throughout the story campaign, and it teaches you how to use them, which is pretty cool. And it makes you want. It, it, well, it asks you. Sheldon asks you to to redo the same stages with different weapons, right? Like yeah. That. So you have the, you have the option to play it with like eight different weapons every stage. Man, and that's ridiculous. I'm just like, are you? Fucking joking! I'm never going into this mode again. <laughs> and I do, and I do know some people who played the story mode through with every weapon variation. No. And I'm like, oh god, you guys are in deep. That so. is ridiculous. With every weapon, and you get like a golden version of the weapon, don't you? Yeah. Or the hero? What is it? Hero version or something? Yeah, you unlock that that hero weapon, which has the same stats as the base weapon, just looks a little. But 
Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, and this, if if you haven't been watching, if you haven't been paying attention, this is the we got both of us into the same game. We like. Yeah, and we did that by hitting solo play at the same time, synchronizing. <laughs> yeah. Like literally, Cyrus counted down from three, three, two, one, zero, and then we did it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is embarrassing. It's you know, <laughs> and and like you said, it's uh, we've got a few months and we'll be paying for this service. So. <laughs> 20 squids a year to uh, get randomly assigned into possibly with your friends, question mark. <laughs> to play roulette. Japan has very strict gambling laws, so they try and stick them in everywhere they're not supposed to. <laughs> right. I think we stick, well, mostly we stick by that rule, don't we? Yeah, we... Uh... Uh, except this one, where I think I accidentally pressed yeah instead of nope. And then I went straight into my own game without Cyrus, alas. <laughs> Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> and then, and then I promptly joined my own game and off I went too. And then Cyrus gets straight into a game without me. There we go. <laughs> what would be funny is if we got both put into the same match but on different teams. I, I'd be, I would enjoy that. But we're both on the same team, you know. Egg versus oh, egg. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either one would be fine, but Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so how do you feel about single player content being like paid for DLC since we've just been ragging on the single player for like 10 to 15 minutes now? Well, it does look interesting. It does look different, um, different setting, uh, different character. Agent 8, I think they call yeah. it. Yeah, I think he played um, as Agent 3 in the first game and he played Agent 5 in this one. Well, or Agent, Agent six, 4. Seven. Yeah. It's four, Agent 4 yeah. that you play in this one. Because I, I literally just played it like earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, uh, like, yeah, playing as Octoling is cool, and earning the ability to be an Octoling is cool. Um, and apparently, you can. It doesn't change anything. You can use all the same gear, all the same hats, whatever. It all works, but it's just you know visually different. Yeah. I guess it's just a hairstyle, isn't it? Or and I guess the, the body slightly different. Everything is a little different. The head's rounder. They've got curved ears. They've got like they they don't have that face mask thing that the Inklings have oh, around nice. their eyes. Sorry, I'm just watching you splat that guy. He's <laughs> oblivious <laughs> to you coming up behind him. <laughs> I love that with the roller. You really feel like a shark hunting people sometimes, right. where they have no idea. You're like <laughs> it's totally about to wreck their day from behind. Like that part in Austin Powers, where he's like, no, and the steamroller's coming at him for like one mile an hour. No, and it still doesn't move. No, you can totally move. No. <laughs> oh, this is weird, because we're playing on totally different stages here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was watching my own screen, and then it's like, stage one, or containment commencing. Yeah. I'm like, what? Look, I'm in the containment field. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 the launch pad just appeared on top of the box. Yeah, so you can easily get out of the launch, out of the containment areas, but you can't get into them. That's right. And uh, it's weird because it just actually jumps you just outside. I, I would assume it would take you back to the spawn point, but it doesn't. You're going to find out in a second. Yeah, um, I think you started using that later on. You were like waiting for people to jump out. Yeah, but no one was coming now. <laughs> 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 like there, I did wait and then it's like, well, no one's coming, no, fuck it. And then stage two, I think I try and dash for stage two, but I don't make it. I don't oh no, stage two was yellow though. anyway. Screw those guys. Yeah. Oh, you were using your uh, your ability there, your sla your splash down. Yeah, I was uh, yeah jump to a friend and then even if they die, you can still just splash and hopefully kill the person that killed your friend. Doesn't always work. <laughs> yeah, but it looks it looks baller as heck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, in fact, most people actually know about that te technique now, so most people just um, see the point that you're going to jump down to and kill you anyway. Mm -hmm. they, they, they make you know minimum safe distance. And, uh... Oh, this, this is you. Yeah, the overlay is you, Cyrus. Getting hammered. Oh, man. See, again, almost 60 yeah, defeats. Yeah, 60-30 every time. Let's see how I did. I'm pretty sure you got like 70-30 in this one. Uh, I don't know. I'm... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, that's my line as well. <laughs> it's always satisfying when you see, hey, I did that. Yeah, I love that. When you finish a game and you see that one squiggly mess going off to one side, it's like, that's me. Right. I'm in enemy territory. Yeah, again, another 60% 60, 60 win. 
crazy. So you get, um, oh, so you get five points for a win, two points yeah. for a loss. I think uh, the the other, speaking of Smash Bros and stuff, the other Ooh. Nintendo Direct news that dropped and has been memeing up the internet is... Uh, Yay! The Inklings are making their journey to, to Smash Bros, finally. That reveal video is going, making the rounds on Twitter and YouTube now. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. How, how many characters can you put in a in an Inklings eyeball? <laughs> 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 right. I, I like the one where it like shows the Inkling doing the gasp, and then it reflected in, in its eye is like, Sakurai will never escape this series. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one is the, uh, you know, the, the steamed... Uh, hams thing that's going around for the past <laughs> yeah, month or so and it's like uh superintendent charmans opens the door and then it's just the massive smash brothers fireball <laughs> looking at him it fits love, so perfectly as well it's like the the comparisons of like all of the smash trailers since they started coming out with them where it shows like uh like the villager his 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 like invitation trailer Shows him yeah. like leaving his house in Animal Crossing town, like getting an invitation nice and friendly in the mail. And then, like, Duck Hunt Dog is like a group of all the Mario characters, like a fucking like a hoodlum posse, mm-hmm. are just like, Hey, dog, want to join our group? I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the later trailers. And then it cuts to like Inkling in this flaming ball in the sky. <laughs> it's like, You have been summoned. Right. Yeah, it's, it's kind of ominous, isn't it? It's like this, the Eye of Sauron uh, coming to invite you. <laughs> Wanna die? <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> Bring the but, uh, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, the, the Inklings are in, in Smash. The, the, the worst kept secret or the... Worst, well, I guess it was never even hinted at, but it's just everyone just predicted it, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, why aren't they in this game yet? The most predictable thing ever, I guess. Mm. How was it? How did they you not kill that guy? You just ran over him when he was yeah, in the Yeah, because I'm still using the carbon roller, and this, I think, was the map that made me think, I hate this weapon. <laughs> and that uh, E-Kill just... guy was pretty fucking serious business. Yeah, oh, he? that was this map. That guy yeah. was... Uh, E-Kill. Meant business. His, he lived up to his name. E-Kills. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's just very, it's very exciting. I mean, um, it'll be interesting to see how they do it. I mean, Sarah, was it you saying how they kind of had to wait for the, yeah. the, the 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 Switch version because of maybe the ink would be too too much? Yeah, this was my my brother told me this like because I was like, oh, the first DLC character is totally going to be an inkling, and my brother said no, he he reckoned that. Uh, that the inkling required as their game mechanic, they have to be able to, to ink the stages, they have to be able to swim in the ink, because that's what makes an inkling an inkling. And mm. so that's a huge amount of extra programming that needs to go into the game to allow the stages to be painted, or it's just an amount of memory to keep track of all the ink on every stage. And then to, to help you and your brother out, I suggested that in addition to that, it was probably also the 3DS version wouldn't be able to handle that at yeah, all. Yeah, exactly that. Because they, they have to do it for both versions, you know. And that's also probably why uh, Ice Climbers um, mm. is not in it because you know you would you well yeah you'd have eight characters on screen on a 3DS it wouldn't work would it? Yep. In four player. And so, uh, there you go, another yes. sixty. <laughs> yeah, sixty thirty. We were not on the best of form that time. That was e- Mr. Kill there. And look at that, 12 kills. Jesus Christ. And he's only level 16. He's probably using his little sister's account. <laughs> Bastard. Use your own fucking Switch. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they had some Splatoon costumes, which he ha- probably had to pay for in the Wii U and 3DS yes, versions. Did. I think, did which I basically were just your me. You know, I never understood that on all those me costumes. It's like, why would you pay for a me costume? That's just so bizarre. Yeah. Um, and then you have to actually, you know, rely on people or yourself to make a me that looks kind of like an inkling to put the mask on. Because if you just put it on yourself, it's not going to look anything like a Splatoon yeah. character. A lot of the people I followed on Twitter really did enjoy that stuff, though. So I guess it worked out for Nintendo in the end. So how do you think the ink squirting is going to work? Do you think it's going to be like 
the ink just is like a, a gun, like, you know, like a Bayonetta gun or a Falco or a Fox gun. And it's just going to hurt them? Or do you think it will actually land on the ground and then you use it uh, to slide or something? I'd say it will act almost exactly like it acts in this game, where it'll be like, it'll damage them, it'll slow them down, and it'll allow you to move better. But that seems like a kind of a broken mechanic because it'll like, it's just too easy to paint the whole stage, so. Yeah, I wonder like how much the, how long the paint will stay. Yeah, I'm. my guess is there, there will be a fixed amount of ink available both in your tank and in your on the stage so like if you paint 10 meters on the stage it'll empty your tank and then after after a few seconds your ink will start to disappear and at the same rate that it disappears in the stage it will refill your tank so yeah, i think it'll be very quick i think it'll be like one burst and you can just lay it down and then that's it it runs out very quickly and then people might be able to stick in it, but then it'll quickly, you know, go away. I think it'll be a lot faster than it happens in Splatoon. Yeah, it'll have to be. Yeah, it's, you're not going to be covering entire stages in ink. It's going to be like, brrr, and then that's it. And then they'll probably have something like their uh, their their smash attack, you know, the big super powerful ability will like coat the stage in ink or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it might be a splashdown. Yeah. Splashdown and even it could cool. be a splashdown that does damage in an area and covers the stage of the ink. Something broken. The what's very screen. yeah? What's the most Splatoony weapon or special move? Bombs, I guess. Ink yeah. bombs could be like throwing hundreds of ink bombs. Or it could be... call in Callie and Marie to do a like a. <laughs> Day a yeah, they do like a mini concert that stops everyone in their tracks or something. Or <laughs> yeah. Could do. Could be a few things. Or Callie and Marie and Pearl and Marina could be DLC costumes. <laughs> it could. It could be like um, you know those massive ink cannons you get in single player. It could be like you know it zooms out. I kind of like how Snake was in Brawl, where you kind of the camera goes oh, yeah. out and it's like a ladder. Right yeah, and then you just fire massive ink bombs at people. Yeah, it could be a bunch of stuff. That's the beautiful, beautiful thing about Smash Brothers. It's like there's so many like amazing ways that it fits every single like uh game series ever like you, you just think it just fits oh, yeah. everything like metal gear to 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 pikachu you know <laughs> you, there's always a way you can incorporate the moves into it <clears throat> okay i believe that's you in the top right cyrus yeah i'm winning so probably and you... <laughs> all right calm down <laughs> yeah. 50 percent, um, and I think uh, yeah, I think this is where you pull ahead because you win that one, and then I probably lose this one because there was a point where your egg power was quite strong, wasn't it? Yeah, and I think uh, we we were talking while we were streaming this part was that yeah. uh, that this map is not too great for rollers. Oh yeah, 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 because everyone's now trapped into rollers because of the shifty station. Yeah, but so then it doesn't station... work for this one. Yeah, like Roller is definitely one of the best weapons for Shifty Station, but this level is kind of bitty, there's a lot of different elevations, It's uh, and there's yeah. corners and stuff, so it's very hard to hit people with a Roller. And this is <clears throat> non-Splatoon players say, what, you can't change your weapon and character between matches? That sucks. Well, you can, but you, you also don't know what stage you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, so you have to try and pick something that you think will work on generally all of them. Yeah, you usually pick... Man, that guy just fucking destroyed me. You, you can usually pay a uh, uh, pick per mode, don't you? You don't usually pick for the mode, not for the stage. So, like, yeah, if you're cause... in, if you're in turf war, you know, at a certain level, you can choose a certain weapon. You know, um, if you're doing tower control or uh, man, again, I lost a roller chicken game. No cash. That's a man who who bought the DLC for Smash Bros. <laughs> This is yeah, it close. looks close, but it's not close. This one. <laughs> um, so yeah, like yeah, like I was saying, like tower control, a bucket works beautifully for a tower control because you can like arc it off the, you can arc it onto the tower to kill people, or you can arc it off the tower to kill people. I think one of my my favorite things still with the tower is when I have the stingray equipped, the special. It's like a like a laser that fires out of your gun. Right. That's 
usually I hate that thing. I can never line kills with it. Oh. Okay. Well, so but on the happy. tower, it's like they're all grouped together on top of the tower in a very small area. And you can like you can team wipe like bad players if they're all gathered on top of the tower with one laser, and it's so satisfying. Nice. Well, Cyrus, I think that's the end of the stream. Oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching slash listening. If you like this, uh, keep it locked to the Famicast YouTube channel. Every Friday, we call it Famicast Friday. We upload a bunch of content every Friday. It's awesome. So stick to the Famicast.com for updates on that or the Twitter, at the Famicast, or just subscribe to this channel, and you get all that awesome stuff for free! Oh my god! It's amazing. So, that's uh, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Cyrus. He's out!